take it anymore. My hands and feet are cramping up. What are you doing that for? You there. Perfect timing. I can't take it anymore. Take what? What is Deborah talking about? That lightning strike electrified the floor and handrails. So I'm doing my best not to touch them. <laughs> but I can't take it anymore. My arms, legs, neck, back, everything is screaming in pain. <laughs> I need to try and calm it down. Lightning striking an airplane. Crazy, huh? Doesn't this shaking feel odd to you? First, squeaking windows, and now seats and floors are electrified? I'm almost impressed by your capacity to worry about the mundane. Hold it! What was that about the windows? They were squeaking, right? Squeaking? The windows? You're saying the windows on this bucket squeak? My leg. If the windows were really squeaking, why, we'd all be dead by now. That lightning strike would have come in through the cracked window. We'd have smashed into the sea, its surface harder than concrete. It's like Dr. Johnson always says. Fall from an airplane and you'll die. So just keep your fear-mongering to yourself. There certainly doesn't seem to be any counting in her notes. What's going on here then? You also take notes on suspicious people, right? That's right. There's you, of course. And I've got notes on that guy with the mannequin. Oh, I've got his number. He's one of them object sexuals. I'll have to take your word for that. It's a term applied to individuals who fall in love with inanimate objects. Come on, you've heard of it. A type of paraphilia. It's like Dr. Johnson always says, love has no boundaries. What about the guy with the scar on his forehead? Stony face, in business class? Oh yes, workaholic, textbook. He's got it bad too. He's either using his work to run away from something or work itself is his reason for living reason for living. It's like Dr. Johnson always says, it doesn't matter what it is, just find a reason to live. <laughs> <laughs> 